everyone, Joel Lance here. Today we're in Houston, Texas, outside Nerman's Food Boutique. So this is an amazing looking Bollywood themed restaurant, guys. We're having authentic Indian food. It all looks and smells so delicious. I was just in there. So today we're doing a butter chicken challenge. That's right, a very big butter chicken challenge. So we have a great big massive plate of butter chicken. We have a variety of their house-made specialty non breads. I believe a couple other curries. It's absolutely, absolutely giant. We are gonna have one hour to complete this challenge. I um, will definitely need it. It is like, I think it's six pounds of butter chicken alone, plus all the curries, plus all the non breads. It's probably upwards of, I don't know, like nine, maybe 10 pounds. The thing is, it's absolutely massive. But at that, let's head on in. Let's have some fun. If we uh, complete the meal today, it will be free. Um, I'll get you the price and details, all that being said here momentarily. Um, but yeah, looks delicious. I'm very excited. A butter chicken challenge, an Indian food challenge. If you guys have been asked for Indian food, I'm very excited to finally bring you an Indian food challenge. So with that, let's head on in. So we do it. Let's have some fun. Hi everyone, so here we are with the challenge. Looks absolutely delicious. So I have so, so, so many items here, guys. Just look at all this. But I have Nurman, who is the main chef, the owner here himself. Uh, Norm, would you mind just kind of walking me through sure, what happened? Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, this is one of the world favorite food, the Hindus and butter chicken. You know, it's never go wrong with that. Butter That's chicken. the main your challenge. You know, you can, you know, you, you, I have satisfied with you. You know, you have tried. I love it. With that, I just give it to another sauce. It's like, you know, it's, this is cilantro chicken. Cilantro so chicken? With the coconut milk, this sauce, and, you know, meat and cilantro and green chili. We just melt it with that. It's very delicious, unique uh, uh, sauce. And this is a lamb korma. It's onion based, like, rich creamy sauce with the boneless lamb pieces in it. Lamb and, korma? Yeah, lamb korma. And Excellent. around it, I give like different kind of bread. Yeah. So this is start with it here. This is onion kulcha. Onion kulcha. This is cheese kulcha. Cheese kulcha. Cheese stuff with that. This is garlic rosemary. Now. Garlic rosemary. This is a garlic naan. Garlic naan. And this is a bullet naan. This bullet naan blends all garlic with a dry and green cheese. Nice, so, so chilly. Like, yeah, you just, yeah. Ooh, yeah, smell, yeah, get a little chilly. Taste and enjoy. Hey, this looks so fantastic. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, I'm ready, guys. This is, this, yeah, just, this looks fantastic. So let's get started here just momentarily. All right, everybody, so how we get started here? This is absolutely giant. This is such a big plate. Like, this plate is bigger than I am. I hope you guys can conceptualize this. But uh, let's get started. Whew, I'm, uh, I don't even know where to start. Do you have a suggestion, Chef? Sure. Start with the, you know, the butter chicken okay. with garlic rosemary. Start with that. Let's and do it. Little something you just cheese kulcha and the chili kulcha. You just combination of that so you get balanced appetite. This looks amazing. All right, so let's get started here. Let's hit count five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, so creamy. Mm, it was spicy. Mm. Rosemary. Man. I love Indian food. That is just delicious. Hey everyone, welcome to Zoo. Today we're here at Nermon's in Houston, Texas, eating America's biggest Indian food challenge. Yes, that's right. America's biggest, biggest, biggest Indian food challenge. Maybe even some of the world's biggest Indian food challenge. This thing, as you can see, was absolutely giant. We had six pounds of butter chicken, then the serving of the lamb korma and the cilantro chicken, which, although I don't know the weight of them, they're at least probably a pound and a half pound each, so that's eight or nine pounds, plus then all the breads definitely putting us up at least 10 pounds, if not more. And the chicken is so soft. Woo, that is just like, that is damn good. So we did have one hour to complete the challenge in order to get the meal for free, and that's definitely what we were shooting for. So Nirman's itself is kind of like a Bollywood-themed restaurant, um, served by some really cool Indian food, though. And on the menu, they had a lot of Indian foods that like I was not even familiar with. They specialized in foods from North, South, East, West India, and they even had a lot of classic Indian street food. So many like warm spices, just, oh my god. Must try, must try. You could really tell and sense like the passion behind the food and you could taste it. This butter chicken was tasting absolutely fantastic and while I was really kind of gunning, you know, trying to rush and, and uh, hit it hard because I knew I would need the time, um, I would just say the flavors were just absolutely amazing. And like I said, the, the staff, the passion behind the food, you can just tell that this is, like, this is a place where they're proud of what they serve and that's what you want in a restaurant. A restaurant which, you know, puts their name behind everything or, you know, even your first name being the name of the restaurant, Nirman. So a 
really liked that and uh, you know kind of diving into all these unique flavors was super super cool and items I've never had. That's good. All right. For the chef, we have some chili naan. Yeah. Try that butter chicken. Yeah. I'm gonna mix it right in my mouth. Oh yeah. Mm. You really get those green chilies, that red chili flavor. Yeah. There's such a robust taste. Mm. Nice, little bit of heat, little bit of heat. Mm. This is delicious. I can just eat it by myself, like by itself. Yeah, yeah, good way to eat all that. Good way to add a little spice, like spiciness to that butter chicken, or anything. Very good. Any other sauce you try with butter chicken? Like no, yeah. This is only in kulcha and this cheese kulcha. So like if you have sauce, too much heat, then try cheese kulcha. Okay. And then like you know, you go for only in kulcha. Let's try. Right out some little spice out there. So you just yeah, this chili got a bit. Yeah. Easy. So just try the cheese kulcha, so you get like. You know, Oh yeah, yeah, nice to cool, cool the heat a little bit. I never had a lot of the flavored breads, um, so I thought it was really cool that we had like the bullet naan, which was like spicy, like it had the chili peppers in it. You know, we had garlic naan, we had the uh, the cheese bread, um, and kind of everything together. And I thought it was cool that we paired them. Got some refuse? <laughs> I tell you, <laughs> if I can make it through all this, that butter chicken deserves second. Yeah. And there's cheese literally right in the bread. Here. So it was really great having the chef there, uh, Nurman, to actually, you know, kind of walk us through the pairings and the combinations. And uh, I thought that was just really awesome. And it really ate, like added to the experience. Um, you know, and similarly, I know they could, I'm sure they could advise you on what items to buy and pair if you're going to, you know, come on by, um, which I definitely recommend trying. I, I wouldn't recommend eating this much of their food at one sitting, but I definitely recommend coming by. Can't waste any of this, this stuff is too good. Butter chicken is actually, I think, my favorite Indian food, so let me know down below what your favorite Indian food is. Yeah, definitely butter chicken for me, probably followed close by a chicken tuka maybe, but man, I tell you, I love butter chicken, and this was really, really good, good, good butter chicken. So, like I said, let me know your favorite Indian food in the comments down below. Very delicious. I think that's pretty much all the main information I have for you today though. I was definitely excited to try the lamb korma, which I never um, had tried before, so I was uh, definitely hoping to do that next. I didn't want to waste any of this food. Oh, but one last thing I will say, uh, one last thing. Alright, put that just out of the way. Woo! That's a lot of food. Very delicious though. Woo. So now we got the curry, the cilantro chicken, and the lamb. Is it korma? Korma. Beautiful. Woo! I tell you, I'm heating up. Like I said, it got some warm spices here. Definitely delicious. But what's cool with all the cuisines here is they're covering all of India. So you have like north, south, east, west. If you want it, you can get it. All right, let's try. Um, what, what would be a good, good, good road next, chef? Only in kulcha with lamb korma. With lamb korma. Let's do it. Mm. 
Mm. Oh wow. Creamy. Yeah. And this is boneless, right? Yeah. Great pairing. Get the onion in that. Yeah. With the savoriness, yeah. the lamb. And the sauce is made by Onino, so I need a cream sauce. So mm. it's like a good combination. Very good. Very complimentary. Yeah. I understand that some of these dishes, like the butter chicken, you know, might normally be eaten more with the breads. Um, again, I was integrating them together. I was uh, mixing them, you know, as per my liking. Um, you know, and I was using the breads kind of to uh, mop up some of the sauce, etc., etc. So I was combining the two. It was quicker to do it in my mouth. So even though it's not the most kind of conventional way to do it, I was still combining it. I know that some people really uh, like the combination of the bread and the food items. Very good tasting lamb also. And we're about 8 minutes, 45 seconds in. So that everyone, if you're liking the video so far, please hit that like button and uh, hit that subscribe button. It's totally free. Make sure you don't miss an awesome upload and it help welcomes you to the family. So welcome to the happy, healthy, hungry family. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking the video. And with that, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. And let's see what happens. That was awesome. And you're totally right with the pairing of that bread. That onion bread. Woo! Right, so what should I pair with this one here? Yeah, with the garlic naan. With the garlic naan? Yeah. Garlic naan. With the cilantro chick. And then we got coconut milk in here. And green chilies. Mm. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I love those flavors. Is that like a roasted garlic? Yeah, it's got yeah. the roasted garlic in a clear one. Great flavors. And that roasted garlic really brings out like a different flavor of the garlic. It goes very well. with some of the chili naan. About 11, 11 a bit minutes in. Yeah, this chili naan got some heat. Woo. The garlic there? I'm oh, sorry, the onion.
about 14 minutes in. Very delicious. A lot of food. I just undid the belt, got some extra horsepower that way. But the breads are fantastic. Really love the cilantro chicken, the butter chicken, everything, everything's been fantastic. I can't say enough, so let's continue to get this done. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but I'm actually sitting in a car. It's pretty cool. Headlights are at home. <laughs> I last thing some cheese bread, some of the, the uh, roasted garlic bread. Woo! What's that? A lot of food, very delicious. Just over like 17, 17 and a half. The last piece of bread, still delicious. The light just cut out. Just cut it, yeah. Are you back? Back for a minute. Almost dead. That's right, just in time. We are done. About 19 minutes, 35 seconds. So I have to do a huge shout out to Nermont here. The, the food is just absolutely exceptional. I can't say enough. The butter chicken, everything here. The naans was so cool. That chili naan is a must must let's try. That was so fantastic. I absolutely love that. Enjoyed every bite. So if you're ever in the area, definitely come on by. Like I said, they have all different types of Indian cuisine from Northern India, Southern India, Western India, Eastern India. They have not a variety of like different kind of street foods, like Indian street foods, which are very hard to come by here in most of America. But yeah, so for that, I'm glad we're able to put away America's biggest Indian food challenge. This one is absolutely delicious. Uh, like I said, I can't say enough. What else is really cool about this restaurant, not only is it Bollywood themed, but it's family owned. They got like the whole family working here, and it just their passion just comes through in the food. The flavors, the quality, the experience, everything. You have the complete package here in Vermont. So like I said, if you're ever in Houston, Houston area, definitely stop on by. Love the restaurant. And that everyone, until next time, of course, they're happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. We do get a meal free, which is pretty cool. And um, that's about that. So definitely stop on by. Maybe don't get a platter this big. No one needs one this big. But definitely try some of the butter chicken. Try some of the different naans. And like I said, you won't regret it. So that's it, everybody. That's about it. Just have a lovely day. No shortage of food. And happy eating. Or just live, have a lovely life.
Dang now it, cat. You're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So everybody, thanks so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said guys, hit that subscribe, hit one of these videos, do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.